Hi, my name is Rocky Messing. I'm a senior program manager for the Office 365 Information Protection Team, working on compliance and e-discovery solutions. Today, we're going to talk about our advanced e-discovery analytics solutions, which help you to efficiently organize as well as reduce the amount of data that has to be reviewed by attorneys in investigations, litigations, and regulatory matters. We're going to talk through our near dupe and email threading solutions, as well as our themes, which help us to understand the data better. And lastly, we are going to go through how we can do this all very quickly using the express analysis tools, and then use the Excel review that comes out of the Office 365 export to help me to truly understand the data as well as I can. After having done searches within the Security and Compliance Center, we are now ready to take those results and begin analysis with advanced e-discovery. There are various different reasons why we may analyze the data with advanced e-discovery. It can help us to reduce the volume if the number of search results are very high. It can also help us to organize the data, even in small sets of, of data, to provide more efficient review of that data set. In order to start the advanced e-discovery process, we select the search and then click on the prepare results for analysis. We'll go ahead and click on the prepare button, which will take that specific result set and send it over to the advanced e-discovery analytics tools. We are now in the advanced e-discovery tool set. We're going to start off by utilizing our express analysis tools. Any searches that we went ahead and ran, we can go ahead and select them and choose to run various different analytics with a single click. Included in this is the ability to set up our exports to either export the data down to our local machine or our local network, or to alternatively export the data directly into Azure, where it can be picked up by various different e-discovery review tools. When we click on the Express Analysis button, it will go ahead and it will start the analysis process. The Express Analysis process will start off by processing the data extracting text from any documents where we don't already have the text from the, from the Office 365 backend, as well as breaking apart any container files. It breaks apart emails and their attachments in order to create a separate file for each one of them, while still maintaining the parent-child relationship between the emails and their attachments. This analysis piece can take a little while depending on how much data we have. Once the express analysis is finished, we're able to see some basic results. This includes our near dupe and email threading results. Near duplicates helps us by organizing similar data based on the text that's contained within the emails or the documents. For example, let's say that we've got a number of different press releases. They've been, people have been working on these press releases by passing the documents back and forth, creating different versions. And part of the press release includes some standard language that's used in all of the press releases. Using the near duplicate detection tools, it will help us to identify where the, the documents are similar. So for example, I might be able to say that a group of 25 different documents are 80% similar to one another. By placing these documents together in front of the attorneys, it helps to speed up the review because when they look at one, they're able to see very similar documents one after another, as opposed to seeing the first one today and the next one maybe next week, maybe a week later. This helps to ensure consistency within the review as well, providing a better product as well as saving costs by reducing the amount of time that it takes to review those documents. Our email threading 
helps us to identify where we have unique content within our email threads. It starts off by reconstructing the order of the thread, who sent emails to who, who replied to those emails, who forward the, forwarded those emails to, to someone else. But because most emails, when they are either replied to or forwarded, contain the, the, the full text of the prior emails, we're able to go ahead and identify just the ones that truly contain unique content and therefore need to be looked at. The other emails, which are considered to be the rest, would not have to be reviewed. So in this specific case, we can see that at least 27.9% of the data would not have to be reviewed at all, thereby providing instant savings in our e-discovery review process. We will now take a look at some of our other settings for performing some of the analytics, such as themes. I've now switched over to our Analyze tab, which allows us to provide some deeper settings within our analytics tools. For example, when looking at near duplicates, we can actually set how similar do documents need to be in order for them to be grouped together. Themes allows us to identify the topics that the documents are discussing without having to provide any teaching to the system. It runs it automatically. By default, the system will pull out the top 200 themes that exist within the full document collection. However, we do have the capability to go ahead and suggest themes. Suggesting themes can help us when we know some of the specific topics that we are looking for. So for example, I can come in and I can say that I want the system to detect things that have to do generally with oil and gas, but then I want to break that theme down into five different themes. So the system will attempt to detect five different topics that all have to do with oil and gas. It may try to detect things that have to do with gas pricing, gas stations, or maybe oil and gas fields and production. So the system will automatically break those topics into whatever it finds. We just give it a basic suggestion and it will go ahead and do the deeper analysis to say, okay, within all of the oil and gas documents, here are the various different breakdowns within there. And then the system will provide the set of documents that match those various different breakdowns. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the output that we get from the advanced e-discovery tools. When exporting data, we have some various different options, such as which template do I want to use? the standard template that just includes basic metadata, or the all template that includes even deeper analysis and deeper uh, metadata that some users may, some advanced users may want to use. I have the ability to use my four review field settings, which help me to say that within the data set that I'm about to export, which data do I actually want to review? I may want to export out all of my results but I wanna flag certain documents that I wanna actually have my attorneys look at. So for example, I might say that I want to only look at the documents that contain unique content plus any family files, the emails and the attachments that are related to the, those documents that contain unique content. When I go ahead and set my for review field setting, I also have the option here to go ahead and filter by those. So if I want to, instead of exporting out my full data set, I could go ahead and export out only the results that match that for review filter. Within advanced e-discovery, I also have some more advanced deduplication options, such as setting my dedupe to remove duplicates from across the entire case or remove duplicates just within a single custodian level. Once I've gone ahead and set the export options that I want, I can go ahead and create my export, or 
I could have set these options and then just gone ahead and done my express analysis. Once this data is exported, I'm able to see that I no longer have just PST or native files like I got from my standard eDiscovery search. Instead, advanced eDiscovery exports the data where I have all of my native files broken out, so individual emails and attachments, the extracted text versions of those documents, as well as any files that may still have some type of encryption or for other reasons may have failed extraction. I also get a load file. The load file is a standard CSV formatted file that can be loaded into any of the leading e-discovery review tools very easily without needing any, any manipulation whatsoever. I also get an Excel version of the export load file that allows me to dig deeper into this data. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Excel. What I can see is that I have every single file has a separate line in the Excel with all of the metadata. Let's go ahead and examine what some of this metadata is. First of all, I can see that I have all of my inclusive types. This helps to identify which emails contain unique information. The emails that contain un unique information are considered to be inclusive. I also have some that are inclusive copies, meaning they are an exact copy of the content of the email, but might have something such as the time or date slightly off. We see this a lot when I've got mailing lists that go to many different people where the time and date might be off or the recipient might be different between them, but the content is exactly the same. I also have similarity values, which uses the near duplicate information to tell me how similar are these documents to what we consider to be the pivot. So I can see that this document here is 98% similar to the one above it. If I wanted to, I could click on the actual link to the data and it would open up the actual file. Some of the other metadata that we get in this file includes our list of themes, which help us to identify what the data is actually talking about, as well as any other themes that may exist and the percentage of the document which contains this specific theme. Because all of this data is in Excel, we can go ahead and we can do things such as applying filters. So I can actually go ahead and very quickly create some various different filters on the data to help me to understand what the data is talking about. I could scroll through this in order to help me to pick the things that are actually either interesting or not interesting to me for this specific data set. And then further filter it based on who had the data, whether or not the data is contains unique information, and very quickly get down to the exact specific data set that I need to look at. The advanced e-discovery analytics tools help me to organize the data in ways that will both save time and money by reducing the overall volume, as well as making sure that the data that I have to look at is organized in a way that allows for efficient document review.